Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first check in with Rev E. I see some wonderful names in the chat box here. And if I had my glasses on, I'd see them even clearer. <laughs> uh, vanity is getting the best of me. I see, oh, my dear friend Linda from out in, back in New Jersey, my former voice teacher. I hope I'm in go good voice tonight, Linda. I see Reverend Kitty Benson from down in Naperville. Oh, my husband has joined. I'm looking at him over there, and he's online over here. <laughs> and I see Brett Hewson. Oh, my goodness. Somebody that I worked with at Edie's Friend Ice Cream so many years ago. People from New Jersey, Skip, and I see Sam and Lena, who I'm going to be doing her wedding when that gets figured out, and Tom Melzoni, dear friend who's helped me so much in ministry, Rose Maxson. Thank you, everybody. And feel free to be interacting in the chat box. Uh, you know, Type your name in. Some of you may see people that you know, and you might want to give a shout out to them on Facebook. So tonight, I simply wanted to get together with people for 15 minutes, and I don't have an official agenda. There are people doing so much right now, and I'm grateful. People are leading meditations and offering workshops to help people get online. Kitty and I have been on a couple calls with uh, Kelly. simply a place for you to land and to rest if that's all you need to do right now. I don't know what your day has been like. Hi, Paul. And I don't know where you are on the spectrum. I like the image of a spectrum that, you know, we might be anywhere from completely calm to completely panicked and it's all okay because we're in this experience. And I honor truly wherever you are, and whatever you came for tonight, if I can give you even just a little bit of that, I'll be happy. And I tried to set a little space for you, thanks to some tips that I learned from my friend Kelly, to bring in some candlelight. And I've got an image of the church in the background and another little candle. You can't smell it, but that one smells like pumpkin. And I brought a few little props, um, AKA, Paul Hasselbeck teaching methods to offer you a little bit of levity on Sunday when we did our talk online on Facebook for the first time, Facebook Live. I talked about four things that were helping me through this and that I've found helpful. And the first one was to bring compassion first. Whenever there's any kind of a challenge, I don't always succeed, but compassion before metaphysics before learning, before what does it mean, compassion for wherever you are, wherever I am honoring that. And then when I've calmed my nervous system down in whatever way that is through breathing, which we can all do right now, I'll pause, you pause. Watch the shoulders relax. So once I've brought compassion, then I might be ready next for some learning. What is this meaning for me? What spiritual tools do I want to bring out? What do I know about God and about life? From um, compassion to then maybe some learning and then some laughter. So I had four things. I remember three right now. And the last one was laughter. So let me offer you a little bit of laughter tonight. I brought some props because maybe these are things that are hanging around your world right now. I brought my cleaner. We've all got to have cleaner with us. I don't know about you, but I was online today, totally confused whether my Lysol wipes work or only Clorox works. And then that led me down a rabbit hole that you know took at least a half an hour. I have no definitive answers, and I'm not going to pretend that I do. But I have this cleaner. And then I have a little angel. And this was a gift that uh, someone at church gave me. Cindy gave me this. And I keep this on my desk. And I'm hoping that wherever it is that you're working or sitting or playing these days, that you have little tchotchkes like this to keep you connected to the people that you love. And we should be doing this all the time. And so how we set up our environment, whether it's with a plant or candles or a special angel, this angel greets the angel in you. 
Oh, and the Band-Aid is, uh, I just had a wart removed. People have been noticing me with duct tape. One of my friends said, what can I do for you? And I had this big piece of duct tape around and she said, like, should I buy you some Band-Aids? Because apparently you have to use duct tape instead. But actually all that was happening was I was trying to do one of those home remedies and it didn't work. So they burned it off and now it hurts. The other thing I wanted to share with you is this little kitty cat. So I wanted to remind everybody, I know you don't need any reminding, but those of us that are pet lovers, I'm guessing for you, just like for me, they're critical right now. And so here's a little, here's a little view of pretty kitty. This is the love of our life. And I just bought her this cat bed and said, um, I want to help her keep warm. So if anything makes me smile. And then the last thing, I know this will always get big laughs from now till forever. I've got my toilet paper. Everybody got your toilet paper. If you need toilet paper, let me know, especially if you live in Illinois. But as far as I know, everyone has somehow managed to take care of their bathroom needs in the last few days. So there we go. Toilet paper. I mean, the toilet paper jokes, they're just never going to get old. And now, I thought we'd take a moment for some meditation together. Always helpful for me. So I invite you, just as you are, I'm going to put a candle right here for you to focus on. And I invite you into this time of meditation. And let us now begin as we always do, or gently closing our eyes if that's comfortable, and picking a soft focus internally and or externally. And for me tonight, it's my breath as it usually is, simple focusing on the breath in and out. Gently releasing any grip that I might have, either in my shoulders, perhaps my eyes or my jaw. Bringing that breath there, releasing the tension. And I may notice that the breath comes in and out of my nose. I may notice it on my lip my chest coming in and out, my stomach. I do that now for a couple of moments. And I remember throughout the day, it can be this simple to recenter myself back in the breath. Perhaps you even have a watch or a timer or something to remind you a couple of times throughout the day. I can simply breathe right now, come back to the work of the day when I'm ready. Bring that oxygenated blood back into my body so I'm more alert, more resourceful when I do. And then I send this peace and this love out into the world. I see it expanding to my neighbors, to my friends, family, People that have no idea that right now love is being sent out to them. And yet somewhere deep within, there is a knowing. There is a connection between all of us in this breath. And with just these simple few moments, 
I have made a difference in my world and in the global consciousness that exists. There has been peace by those of us on this call right now and those who will listen later. There has been peace where we are. It's been shared with the world. We have been blessed. Let this time be a blessing unto the world. And so it is. Amen. Hi, Karen. Karen. Sorry. Hi, Karen. Karen and I were in nonsense together. So you have two nuns on the phone with you, on the computer with you right now. So you better behave. Wanted to ask a question out to all of you as we uh, take the next couple of minutes here. Where in your day do you find time to take a few breaths? And feel free to pop in on the chat there. Um, when do you take a breath? Sometimes I get through the whole day and I'm not sure that I have taken a conscious breath. <laughs> um, but in the morning, in the afternoon, at lunchtime, when your phone reminds you, when do you find a moment to take a couple of breaths during your day? Pop that in there in the comment box, if you will. And if you realize by just me asking that question that I'm not doing as often as I thought I would or that I would like to, think about where can you tap that into your day? Where can you pin that? You might do it sometimes, you know, time management recommendations are tie it to something that you know you'll do, like brush your teeth. So when you go and grab that toothbrush for a moment before or after, what if you stopped and took a conscious breath and said, I'm breathing now? Certainly getting in and out of the car. Or how about before you pick up the remote control? I pick that up a lot. I pick with Netflix, just like everybody else. What if I stopped and when I picked up the remote, that was the signal. The remote is the signal to take a breath before I start watching. That might be something. Uh, of course, I end up doing it when I bless a meal. I bless every meal that I sit down to. And that's a moment to take one of those conscious breaths. And Karen says that I try to take a moment when I first get into bed. That's great. Into bed, out of bed, feet on the floor. And just like Karen, um, don't do it as often as I'd like to. And every single breath makes a difference. And when it's conscious, any one counts. Sometimes we might beat ourselves up and say, oh, I'm not doing it as much as I want. Well, right there, you've had a moment of learning. And then you can just set down the club. You don't have to beat yourself up and say, okay, now I know. I'd like to do a little more. And I'll, every moment is a new moment. And are there other times that you can think of, you know, besides getting in and out of bed and in and out of the car, things that I just mentioned? Is there any trigger, something you do throughout the day or most days that you might use? And if you think of that, pop it in the window. And as I said that to you, our collective consciousness just worked together. And I thought, you know what? Every time I unlock my screen on my computer, that's a perfect time. And that's also a great place to put an affirmative password, at least on the locking of your computer. I won't tell you how many numbers or how many characters and capital letters it has to have. But if you have something like, um, today's a great day, three, four, five, asterisk, exclamation point. And you might make it something around taking a breath, although obviously we've just said that it wouldn't want to be something as simple as, I'm going to take a breath now. But to be doing so you know it could be a series of numbers breathing and a series of characters or something like that and you can always break up a word by the way with pass or passwords it could be breathe an eight in the middle or something so those are some places that you might have an opportunity and hi lisa 
Hi, Diana. It's just wonderful to see names and faces on here. And again, if you all know each other, feel free to say hi in the chat room. Almost everybody on the phone, not everybody, but most people are some Unity people, but I also have some theater friends and neighbors and people on the phone. And what I'll be doing over the, the next foreseeable period, whatever that is, twice a day, once at 1 Central Time and once at 7.30, 15 minutes. You know, nothing super complicated, but twice a day for those who work days or nights, hopefully one or the other will work, drop in whenever you can and simply get a grounding, maybe a laugh for the day. I might show a video sometime. Again, no grand plan, letting um, inspiration move through me. I know that um, something different will come and I'm so grateful to be filled up for the people that have been offering this kind of thing to me and I thought I want to offer it back out to other folks because you never know when it's your 15 minutes that somebody might sit down and notice and building community during this time where we aren't physically, we're now all getting online even more and finding these ways to connect in chat boxes and through the camera and I look forward to doing that. So tonight, I probably wouldn't have had contact with anybody in this chat box. So I guess thank you, COVID-19. So it's wonderful to connect back with people down in Florida and Ohio and uh, Kansas City. It's great to connect with all of you. And so I am. Good night, everybody. Remember your toilet paper, remember your cleanser, remember to love your kitty cats, remember you got angels everywhere. I love you all. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you tomorrow at 1 or at 7.30 if you want. Te quiero, te quiero, te quiero.